Sobrang in. Mainit siya, besh. Mainit, mainit, mainit. Sobrang in. Pero kailangan ko talaga itong i-share sa inyo. Kasi three years is not a joke. To be honest. Hi everyone, it's me Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm actually going to share with you guys my work experience specifically with Akadzok. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. So hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Lexi from Akadzok. So basically, I've been with Akadzok for almost three years already. And before I share with you my whole experience with this company, I'm just going to give you a quick background from my previous employee. I'm going to share with you guys my previous experiences, work experiences. So I started working when I was 18 years old. Um, because when I turn 18, the first thing that actually pops into my head is to work or to find work. So I applied with um, Saitel, Accenture, Transcom, ano pa ba? Accenture pa ulit, ulit, ulit lang. So basically, I applied to the call center companies because way back 2015, I mean 2013, the available jobs for undergrads is call center. So I applied to the call center companies. And I'm not very lucky to get a job really quickly. Bago ko magkaroon ng trabaho, which is West Corporation. It is actually located in Chino Roses. So, nung nag-apply ako doon, I passed. Pero, beshi, before ko pang makuha yun, before ko pang, before ako makapasa doon, I've been with Saital, Accenture, Converges, Transcom, ano ba ba? Basta iba-iba pang video company. Hindi nila ako tinangga, beshi. So, Medyo nawawala na ako ng hope na. Pero syempre, nag-apply, nag-apply pa rin ako hanggang siya natanggap ako sa West Corporation. And I believe today, ang West Corporation, it was bought by Alorica already. Comment down below if you are an Alorica fam. Charot. So, ayun na. Um, teka, Beshi, may init. Ayun. So, um, nag-call center agent ako for a year. Ang account ko was serious exam. So what we do is we actually send your videos and subscriptions. So medyo mahirap siya beshi kasi radyo ng sasakyan. Kung baga, bakit ka magbibenta ng radyo ng sasakyan? Eh di ba pag bumili ka ng sasakyan, meron ng radyo yun. Pero ayun, um, tumagal naman ako doon for one year. Moving forward, I resigned kasi nga the work schedule was from 11 p.m. until 8 o'clock in the morning. Hindi kaya ng powers ko. Hindi naman kasi ako si Darna. Imagine nyo, 11 p.m. ang pasok ko, uwi ko, 8 o'clock in the morning. Tapos, pasok ako ng school ng alas 3. Tingin nyo nga kaya nyo ko. Kinaya ko. Pero for ilang, ano lang, ilang months lang, hindi ko na rin kaya kasi masyado siyang, ano, conflict sa schedule. So, I tried applying Starbucks naman. Luckily, nakatanggap naman ako. Pero nilalagay ako dahil siya sa Makati ulit. Ang layo. Ang travel time ko pa lang from Mandalu yung to Makati. Yes, malapit siya. Pag sinabi mo Mandalu yung Makati, letter M, 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 pwede na, sige na. Pero Ed, sabi siya, hindi mo kakayanin. Ang gapang pagong. Yun, yun eh. Kasi magbabas ka. So, it's a no for me. So, yun na nga. Hindi ko natin anggap yun. Tapos nag-apply ulit ako sa Ortigas naman. So, hindi ko sure kung pwede kong banggitin yung company kasi agency siya. So, ang um, agency na yun, ang hawak niya is different companies ng BPO. So, basically, parang headhunters sila. Pero, ang trabaho ko is an advertiser. So, what I do is I post job vacancies through Jobstreet, Indeed, or any websites na available na pwede kang mag-post ng job vacancies. After a few months, like three months or four months or so, I got promoted, thought I promoted, promoted as a um, recruitment specialist. So basically, I interview applicants who are, like, English ka pa, sige pa, mag-English ka pa. Uh, basta yung mga nagahanap ng trabaho sa BPO. So, interview namin sila, tapos tutulungan namin sila how they can actually pass the initial interview, final interview, and of course, the examination. Then, after after a while, okay naman siya kasi pumap ang pagiging recruiter kasi you you only need to render five hours of work. 
So I work from 10 o'clock in the morning until 2 p.m. So pasok siya sa banga kasi 3 p.m. or 4:30 yung pasok sa school. And from Ortigas lang malapit lang pa uwe bus lang. Tapos um, for a while nag work siya. Kaso nga lang nag-open ng branch sa Makati ulit. Malam mo nila sa Makati gusto ko. So nilipat nila ako sa Makati. So Sobrang okay naman yung schedule yun nga lang kasi yung travel time nga, yun nga yung problema ko, mga beshi, yung travel time. From Makati to Mandalong yung inumabot ako ng dalawang oras. Eh, if no one actually knows, I actually have a son. So basically, nag-aral nag siya. So sinusundo ko siya ng 3 p.m. So imagine nyo, uuwi ako ng, ang uwian ko from work is 2 p.m. Tapos... Susunduin ko siya ng 3 p.m. Minsan hindi ako maabot kasi ng sobrang traffic. Imagine traveling mo from... Um, saan nga ba? Wait na. From... Basta bus. Bus going to Shaw Boulevard. Tapos mag-jeep ka from... Sa, um, from Edge of Crossing going to Kalentong. Traffic pa lang. Sa wak-wak pa lang ang traffic. So, hindi talaga kaya. So, I decided to resign again. Tapos, ayun na yung ate ko na di parang sabi niya, naghanap ka ba ng work? Ganyan-ganyan. Kasi nung tanay, nag-work siya from home. So, basically, nag-offer siya ng job that you could actually work from home. And that is actually an ESL company. You're gonna work as an online teacher. So, nag-apply ako. And by the way, Akadzok has an online application. So, just visit their website and then just click apply and then fill in the form, pass your resume, and then you're, you'll get a call. But for anyone who's interested, message me. Para para tayo may referral bonus. bonus. Referral bonus. Referral bonus. For you and for me. So we get the close. Ano na? So we get closer to each other. Di ba para tayo may pera? Charo. So I'll leave the details below and I'm going to um, discuss with you, of course, the process niya. After noon, I'm going to discuss with you my experiences. So basically, here, as you can see, meron tayong online process. So basically, sinabi ko, magpapasa kayo ng resume, tapos mag-fill in kayo ng form. After that, you're gonna receive a phone interview. After the phone interview, you're going to, um, you're going to have your Skype interview. So, iseset nila yun, depende sa availability mo. And then, after that, after the Skype interview, you're going to have a simple, very simple mock class lang naman siya. Tignan lang ni recruiter if you have the capability to teach. And then, after that, um, ano sunod? They're gonna give you an offer. So, ito na. Way back in 2015, I'm... Quote me if I'm wrong, but based on my experience, in 2015, they offered me 90 pesos per hour. Hindi na siya masama, kasi sa Starbucks, I believe they offer me 70 pesos per hour or 65 or less, I don't remember. Pero yun na nga. Yung sa Akadzok, they offered me 90 pesos. After that, they gave me the contract already. It's an online contract. Tapos, um, after that, proceed na nila kayo sa orientation. Sa orientation, it would last at least 3 hours and so. I'm not sure. Pero, ang goal ng orientation is for you to know your job role. So, they're going to um, they're going to let you see kung ano itsura ng timetable. They're going to teach you how to use QQ which is parang Yahoo Messenger sa Pilipinas. Tapos, they're going to teach you how to use Skype and eClassroom. So eClassroom is like a material or an ATP app that they use na merong blackboard and kanay merot and may shape, 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 ganun, ganun, ganun. Pero, nung mga oras kung yon, yun lang ang available which is QQ, Skype, and eClassroom. Pero now, they have a lot of ATP. Pero besyo naman ang sakit sa ulo nung eClassroom na yun. Alam mo, ang bagal niya. Alam mo lahat na ata ng kabagalan ng luna. Alam mo yung lahat ng issue ng luna. Hindi siya magbubukas. Mawawala ka ng klase. Lahat ng kabagalan nandun. I'm not quoting it anything sa ngayon. Hindi ko alam. Pero feeling ko, mayroon pa rin silang issue when it comes to their apps. Like for the A classroom, they have this A classroom and class in. And to be honest, a lot of people are complaining about it kasi nga yung issue nila is it's slowing down. So, yeah, I prefer, I highly prefer Skype and QQ kasi nga walang issue, walang Walang virus, girl! Yung dun sa e-classroom, nagka-virus yung laptop ko. Kamusta naman? Nagbagal na nga siya. Nagkalat pa siya ng virus sa laptop ko. Nakakaloka. 
Wait lang ang init. Wait. Wait, malulog. Kondol ba si Pa? Ayun. So, um, saan na naman tayo? Malamutan ko. Ayun na nga. So, after ng orientation, you're gonna have your demo class. So, yung demo class na yun, um, merong tiga China. Basta, feeling ko lang. <laughs> feeling ko yung student na yun, nag-employee siya sa China. Magpapanggap siya ng student. Tapos, iti-check niya kung paano ka makipag-engage sa estudyante mo. And then, after that, they're gonna give you feedbacks naman. So, after nung malalaman mo na agad yung result, I believe they still have the same process until now. Kasi, 2015 pa yun eh. So, so sobrang tagal na. Tapos, after nun, onboarding na. You're gonna have a class with the real students. And, ayun. So, ngayon, proceed tayo sa experience ko. Ayan na. I'm going to put the link, everything, on the top. I'm going to leave all the details on the description box. And if you have any questions, you can leave your comments down below. Or you can message me directly through my email or my IG account. So aside from that, um, let's go now to my experience. So basically, as you can see on the thumbnail, I worked with Akatsuk for almost three years. Actually, I'm not sure if three years siya or four years. Siya. Pero nandun siya sa time na yun. Kasi I worked with Akad Sok noong 2015. I was first year college. And now I'm a degree holder. Yeah, tara. Really so nigga. yun na nga. Degree holder na ako. So I recently graduated last year. So naging malaking tulong sa akin si Akad Sok. Not only for me but also for my son. Like I mentioned, I have a son. Napaaral ko siya. Nang yun lang yung trabaho ko. The good thing about this is they have flexible time. Actually, I'm dami kung naririnig ngayon na I'm I'm actually sharing my experiences for those people who just started with Akadzo because I want to be an inspiration to everybody. I'm going to insert a clip ng gumado ito. Ko. And also some pictures if you guys are interested. Pero like I said, I worked with Akadzok when I was first year college. My schedule was, kasi pag bago ka lang sa Akadzok, they're gonna give you um, a schedule sa gabi. Kasi wala ka pa masyadong kilala na students eh. Hindi ka pa kilala ng students, I mean. So kailangan bubuksan nila yung hours mo sa peak hours, which is the night. So 6pm to 11pm if I'm not mistaken. Tapos, after noon, you're gonna build your student, believe it or not. Yung studyante ko nung 2015 until now, studyante ko pa siya. Would you believe that? Ang dami kong nababasa na reviews, ang dami kong nababasa na mga posts sa YouTube, sa Facebook, anywhere, social media. They didn't even last longer than two months kay Akadzok. Akadzok has a new package. Dati kasi, nung 2015, they offered me the old package, which is um, book and unbook classes are paid. So, malaking tulong yun. But now, Akadzok is trying to change something from the company which is not very healthy, I would be honest. Kasi, they're just like the other companies. I applied with 5 One Talk before. And, no student, no pay. So, medyo mahirap siya, Beshi. Kasi, isipin mo yung kuryente mo, yung wifi mo, yung expenses mo sa pang araw-araw kung baga ang hirap noon kung paano kung nag-open ka ng 8 hours tapos ang nabook lang sa iyo is dalawang oras lang eh ilang oras ba nakaran ang kuryente mo at saka ang mga laptops mo di ba matagal so yun lang naman um i heard a lot of story like parang recently i checked a YouTube video i forgot her name but i think she lasted only for a month of course, people has different reasons. People has different experiences. So, I just feel sad for people na um, two months pa lang, ganyan, umaalis na sa Akadzok. Siyempre, nakakasad siya. Yun nga lang, I guess Akadzok needs to improve something. Kasi if people are resigning, people are not 
um, staying longer than three months, six months. I guess Akadzak needs to improve something. You guys need to figure out kung anong mali, kung anong kailangan yung improvement. Hindi yung masasatisfy na lang kayo kung anong nandyan. Aside from that, um, Akadzak has been part of my life for being a single mom. So, I am proud to say that I graduated tapos napaaral ko pa yung anak ko. When I say graduated, hindi ako ang nagbayad sa tuition ko. Pero what I mean is yung schedule, yung flexible na oras. Kasi ang schedule ko sa school is from 4.30 until 9. Minsan morning, iba-iba. Wala akong naging problema kay Akad. So, ang bait lahat ng naging TM ko. Siguro it's also God's way to help me out. So I'm really lucky. This is actually one of the reasons why until now, I am with Akad Sok. Ang laking tulong niya sa akin. If I would have another job, maybe magpa part-time ako. And if you guys have any questions, <laughs> if you guys have any questions or any requests, don't forget to comment down below. And if you guys are going to ask me if I would recommend Akadzok, yes, I will. Just remember, I know some people will research about Akadzok. You will find positive and negative, but you will never know the truth once you actually try. Always remember, teachers out there, Akadzok. Akadzok is a platform for us to work in our home. We are teachers for Chinese, of course. We have a freedom to express our own opinions. If something is going wrong already, speak it up. Kung hindi ka man napapansin, try and try, speak it up. Kasi kailangan malaman ng Akadzok kung ano yung kailangan ng improvements. Kailangan ng Akadzok tayo para malaman nila kung ano yung dapat nilang i-maintain, baguhin, at kung ano yung mga dapat nilang i-achieve in goal. Kasi ang dami kong naririnig na story na nag-resign sila. Ang dami kong naririnig na reklamo about them. But for me, for the span of 3 to 4 years, siguro naging reklamo ko lang talaga yung e-class mo na yan. Ang sakit talaga sa ulo nyan, Beshi. Sobra. Alam mo yung feeling na biglang nagka-virus yung laptop mo. Ganyan. Nakaka-stress. Tapos ngayon, meron silang A-class yung tsaka class in. Minsan, nagkaka-issue. Katulad kagabi, nagkaroon din ng issue. Sige, good luck sa inyo. Pero ako kasi, Wala, nire-request ko na lang na more on Skype and QQ. To be honest, mas, ano ko pa yun, mas prefer ko yun. So, sobrang in. Mainit siya, besh. Sobrang in. Pero kailangan ko talaga itong i-share sa inyo. Kasi three years is not a joke. To be honest. I work with this company because I want to and I love what I'm doing. And to be honest, sa tatlong taon na yun, yung unang-unang naging studyante ko, studyante ko pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. Would you imagine that? Just do your job, love your job. If you have any complaints, doon kayo mag-complain sa email. Mag-complain kayo sa direct management, hindi yung nagpo-post lang kayo. Kasi once you post it, hindi naman yan agad masusolusyonan. And guys, don't rely on reviews. Kasi minsan, let's be honest, people have different experiences. Paano naman yung mga magaganda yung experience? Siyempre, hindi na maniniwala yung ibang tao kasi masyado nang natabunan ng negativity. And aside doon, like I said, I highly recommend Akad Sok for those people who wants to work from home. This is highly recommended for single parents, for students, college students, or anything. I would put here all the requirements that you need and aside from that, by the way, guys, for salary, um, it's actually a point system. From 90 pesos, I am more than 100 pesos per hour already. So I hope that would be an inspiration to you guys. Um, I've been with Akatsok, like I said, since first year college. Hanggang sa brumadme ko. Would you imagine my patience with this company? Kasi alam ko na meron tong magandang mararating. And I hope, Akatsok, you improve the things you need to improve. I hope that you would um, you would accept the feedbacks of the teachers kasi ito rin ang makakatulong sa company ninyo. Sobrang maraming salamat. I'm really thankful to be part of Akadzok family. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or any requests, don't forget to click like and subscribe and comment down below. See you on my next one. Bye!
Minad, nakikita niyo pawis ko, pawis, 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 pawis.